Hey there, boys and girls. Uh, today we're going to do total surface area of a triangular prism. because These can be tricky sometimes. So first off, we need a picture of a triangular prism. Let me draw one. I'm never good at this, so don't judge. That's a triangle. There's a side. Yeah, just a little. All right, there we go. I should probably have this pre-drawn before the video, but it's entertaining, right? So a couple things. We just need stuff to ha have labels. So we'll do uh, six. I'm going to say this line there is four. This back here is five. And then we'll make this uh, 22. All right. Uh, so when we're asking for the total surface area, we're asking for just the outside of a three-dimensional shape. All right. We're, we um, we just want, if we were to wrap this in wrapping paper, that would be the total surface area. So let's uh, determine how to do that. The first thing we need to do is write down the formula. So the formula for this is surface area, S, is equal to P times H plus 2 big B. All right. Let's go through what each of those variables uh, stands for. S is the surface area, which is what we're searching for. So we're going to say that S is equal to S in this problem. And it's a little redundant, I know, but um, just do it. All right. The next thing is P. The next variable is P. That's equal to the perimeter. That's perimeter of the base. So if you look at the base, we can see that the one side of the base is 6 because it's labeled for us. Now, this side's not labeled, but this the base of the prisms are congruent. So if this side is 5, then this side must also be 5. And going with that logic, if this is 5, we're going to assume that that side is 5 as well. So we have 6 plus 5 plus 5. It's a triangle, so there's three sides. That makes sense. So the perimeter is equal to 16. Now the H here is the height of the prism. Now the height of the prism is the distance between the bases. So if we're saying that this is one base and this over here is the other base, then 22 would be the height of the prism. It, it looks like it's laying down, but... Um, but it doesn't matter which direction the prism goes. The height will always be the distance between the bases. You can think of it like uh, like this. I, I am six feet tall. Uh, my wife tries to tell me I'm shorter, but she's wrong. But I'm six feet tall when I stand up. And even when I lay down, I'm still six foot tall. So that's how you could remember um, if the prism's laying down, it's it's okay for uh, that the height is still this distance. And then the last variable is big B. Now that stands for area of the base. We said this is a triangular prism, so we know the base is a triangle. So area of the base will be equal to one half base times height. All right. So this could get tricky because now we have um, two bases in this problem. Excuse me, two heights in this problem. But again, this is called area of the base. So we're going to cover up everything else and just look at the base. So it's equal to one half. The base of the base is six, and the height of the base is that number in there four, which comes out to be twelve. All right. Oh, you can't see that, huh? There we go. That's much better. So we're going to uncover this. Now we're going to substitute these values in for into our equation and solve. So our S is still S, and that's equal to 16 was our perimeter times 22. And we're going to add 2 times the area of our base, which came out to be 12. So when we do that, we get S is equal to 352 plus 2 times 12 is 24. So S is equal to 376. Um, this will be units squared because it is surface area. So that's the process to find the total surface area of a triangular prism.